some parts a couple of times. Okay, welcome back. Huey. Huey, let's go. In this room. <gasps> oh, wait, it just closed on us. So I am going the right way. Oh, you've been very naughty, Fiona. You are causing me much grief. Whose voice is that? Fiona? South British. Hey, look, there's a closet. Let's hide in it, just for the heck of it. <laughs> Hiding. Do you really think you can hide from me there? <gasps> he can see me. And lagging, which is even better. I can see you clearly from here, Fiona. Where is here? Oh, how I love the Azov. I'm not Azov. I'm Fiona. I mean, Tom. <laughs> Looks like a dead end. To wow. You. How unfortunate. I'm having some identity issues, are we? No need to get so upset, my dear. I'm very upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one, eh, Fiona? It was just a bookcase. I think what are you do doing, here is... Fiona? Just where do you intend to run? I think you have to like it, uh, make all of his quotes. You simply not, cannot understand. Which is time based and area based, and then eventually it's cutscene. Uh, Let's crouch down behind the chair. Have you longed for me as I long for you? No, I don't long for you, creepy voice. That's just weird. Why must you run from me? Because running equals not di dying. Oh, Huey, I love you. How adorable you are, Fiona. You just call Fiona adorable. That's creepy. <laughs> and Fiona just cursed again. Everything I do is for the great truth. What's the great truth? What Azoth is? Because that would be something very nice to know. Because they don't tell you. They just expect you to be like, oh, that's Azoth. And is that a picture of like a shrimp on the wall there? At last, you are mine, Fiona. No, I don't want to give up. I'll run into a wall. Fiona is not yours, creepy voice from the heavens. My dear Fiona. Cutscene. That took a while. Then the door unlocked. Interesting. Yes. They're beckoning me somewhere. Come to me, Fiona. Come to me, Fiona. Poor Fiona. No comments on that? Fine, be that way, Fiona. Another cutscene, though. And the door shuts, right? Shut! Fiona's like, oh! Of course. The great Oriana's belly once said, the most valuable thing in this world is the great truth. Not money. Human beings, human life, they are not capable of grasping this truth. We cannot merely sit idle and await. Now he's just being confusing. If you we ask must dedicate me. our lives to the realization of the truth. Save one though, and an item. Lavender, I'll need that. Okay, clock. Now, this is what we're gonna do. The uh, stalker number five that will appear very soon. It's rumored to be unkillable. I'm gonna kill it. What is going on? The last time I entered this room, it was connected to a different location. Is the whole mansion transforming or something? <coughs> okay. Come on. 
Where's Huey, by the way? I'd like Huey for when I'm attempting to knock down our fifth stalker. There's only one point when you can knock him down, and that's the final boss fight. But, I don't know. Daddy. Daddy. Darth Vader again. <laughs> Wait, that would be Ricardo, but Ricardo dead. Leona, my dear holder of Azoth. What's going on? You're not my... Uh... Azoth is the essence of life. Yeah, we know. We alchemists have the ability to convert it into power. We can live forever. Your Azoth, Fiona belongs to me okay if you can't tell that is lorenzo he's turned young somehow and now he's quoting daniel i haven't had seizures in my life that's crazy very and you'll just see how powerful and crazy this guy is you, you wouldn't believe me this guy is nuts Oh, he has new hair now. Looking good. For a crazy person. If we can use that <laughs> word now. Oh, and it looks like he has like a six pack or an eight pack or something. Come to me, Fiona. No, I'm not now coming, extract I'm not the coming to you. Into you. In order to realize the everlasting life. <laughs> Of Oriola's belly. And Fiona's whimpering like a puppy. <laughs> Leave the whimpering like a puppy to the actual doll. Oh, come on, you know you can do that to a in situation. Comment. Lorenzo's face looks just like my father's. And then to watch him transform from an old man to someone less than half his age. What is going on here? Uh, magic. magic. Exactly. <laughs> oh, he can cause earthquakes and mega power attacks and all kinds of fun stuff. Here you oh there you are, good boy. boy. We go and attack you now. What? He vanished on me. Bad Lorenzo. I wanted to beat you up. I quite like this room for meeting you all. Come on, Huey. I need you. Because he'll be back. Pretty much there's no point in this part where we are not getting stalked. He'll just randomly appear. Like, literally appear, not just, like, be there. He'll appear. Okay, we run down this corridor. There he is. Huey, Huey get him. Times five bleeds for the girl. See, even that doesn't work on you. The stun doesn't last. Futile. 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 Like you're come. losing blood. <laughs> Nib face or something. Or Lorenzo. Whatever your name is. Something else. Oh. Mario. Your name is now Mario. Yes. When he calls you an earthquake, if you're in the region, you can call over. Wait, that's what you want. Futile. Futile. <laughs> and his laughs make her panic slightly, but because of our uh, shiny Futile. earrings, we don't have much of a problem. Metal Futile. Oh, yeah, he disappears and kicks you in the face. Ouch. Yeah, it's metal Futile. He beats the crap out of Huey. <laughs> No, it's not. Meddlesome. Oh, I say so. Ugh. Stop falling over. Use this. Go get it. Meddlesome. Q's probably gonna pass out from this, too. Yes, that's a good boy. Okay, walk a little bit forward. Oh, and you can bring up pillars of light. And next time, we continue our attempt to beat this noob. Thanks for watching.